Hi, welcome to Yuknik Spirits, where I'm going to do an energy read. And there was kind of like a mantra that was going through my head. People will come and people will leave. The right people will come, the wrong people will leave. And I just kept going over and over and over in my head. So maybe someone is losing people and gaining people. And they need to be reminded that some people leave because I think some people that are leaving are hard for people to lose. And the right people will stay. And dude, this shit's focusing. Oh, I wonder if it's the smoke it's focusing on. <laughs> Sorry, unsensibly right there. So ooh. we got the Empress. The Empress and then we've got defensiveness, but like the end of defensiveness because it was reversed. But then we've got the sun and that was also reversed, which tells me that once this defensiveness is actually done, this empress will either be someone's son or be happy. defensive. You might be defensive about losing someone or something or mindset or even an addiction. <laughs> you know how hard it was for me to quit eating shitty food? Holy fuck. <laughs> I had to like monitor myself to not go more than once a day to a fast food and that was hard for me. <laughs> no joke. No joke whatsoever. I only laugh because I I rarely, rarely go to a fast food. You know, like Well maybe that's not so true. Like every payday. <laughs> every other week I'll go and we'll get pizza. And then we'll go for like a day or two. And then we then it's grocery time. Deserve it. Something you are supposed to be recognized for. You held strong for. I mean, you had to be defensive about the situation. Because you had to come out of defensiveness. And in that defensiveness, you saw your happiness. Which now... Now you're either recognizing your son... Or people are recognizing you. You possibly could have been in your ego, but nobody knew that. Because this was hidden, and it was reversed. And that's ego. That's hardcore ego. But then when I picked it up, I picked it up upright. So you might be now sitting in integrity. Sitting in action. Sitting in... Movement, sitting and going towards something. Something that you're going to get recognized for. Or you're recognizing someone for. Queen of Cups. Could be someone loving. I mean, we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. We have Aries here. And we have... Libra and Taurus here. So if you guys are interested in the signs, I'm not too big on them because we can always be all signs at, in, you know, like all the time. So I got a lot of placements. Um, but like I do have, like I am hardcore Libra, Sag, and Aquarius. So like those are hard. But this is foundation right here. This is celebrating all the hard work. This is... <laughs> So my job, I, uh, we have this thing that we have to do every year and we prepare, especially the last six months, we prepare hardcore for it. And then there's that day, the day we have to do it, you know, and it's, that's what this is. 
And afterwards, we usually go get drinks or we go celebrate because we're all fucking tired. We've had like two weeks of this, you know, hardcoreness, you know, because it's days of, but then there's one day that's yours, you know. But then when everybody's done their day and we're done, we usually go out for a celebration. And that's what that is, celebrating the success of being done with a lesson, a mindset, a toxic activity, whatever it is. And being honest about it. Saying what needs to be said. Yep. And that's what I have for you. I think... I'm going to go more in the extended and find out what needs to be said. And to who? Is it the Sempress? But I want to bust out another deck and I want to go farther and we're going to go for like another ten or so minutes. And I want to see what more we can get out of this. Because I have a feeling this King of Swords Emperor character is going to be going towards this Empress. Or this Queen of Cups. So I want to see who comes back out again. Alright, so that's what I have for you. If this resonates, please like, share, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Love, light, namaste.